there's not much of a future on this Romanian hillside. Three years ago, this Roma community was forcibly moved here. No wonder now some dream about starting a new life, perhaps in Britain, like Pepe. Yes, I would like, love to go in Britain to work, but legally, mm -hmm. to pay taxes and legal. And you have a family as well, would yes. you take them with you? I would love to take them with me, yeah, I would love to take them. To raise your child in Britain, it's much better than here. A lot of the concern back home has been that people from poor Roma communities like this would automatically head to Britain on January the 1st on the grounds that why wouldn't they? Surely they'd be able to find a better standard of living there. All I can say is, having come here, talk to people, it doesn't seem to be that simple. Alexandru worked in Britain for five months, but he's not rushing back. <laughs> I was thinking about that for some time, especially with this change on January 1st. So, OK, let's say I find the money to go there with my family. I get to London. First of all, the kids won't be able to go to school. And what am I going to do there? You're on your own. I'd be homeless. What am I going to do? Sleep on the streets? Here, at least I have a roof. Nobody knows how many Roma will be on the move, partly because nobody knows how many Roma there are. This expert estimates they're about 10% of the Romanian population, so around 2 million. I'd expect that uh, migration of Roma will have the same ratio with the population. So I'll see something like 200,000 people moving abroad, but to different European countries, not just to the UK. The Romanian government says that 200,000 figure is too high, and the foreign minister told us he wants David Cameron to distance himself from the recent campaigns over immigration. Rejecting, in clear terms, if it's possible, uh, the xenophobic and uh, populistic and, uh, once again, sometimes racist attitudes which are promoted by some other British politicians. Like every other Romanian, they already can travel freely to Britain. What changes on January the 1st is the end of restrictions on them working. Everyone here told us they'd only come with a job. And they also said the British shouldn't be so worried. We are not waiting. Let's go there. All come, everybody, to Britain. No. And, and if they reach in Britain, they don't want to get the jobs like manager or I don't know. They will do the small jobs like constructions, maybe car wash, uh, washing dishes, things, things like this. We will help the, 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 the British people. What kind of future can he look forward to? And with January the 1st looming, could they be looking at a future somewhere else? Somewhere like Britain. Andy Bell, 5 News, Romania.